What's up guys? Well, it is uh, Thanksgiving Day and I'm working on Christmas lights. As you can see here, maybe it's during the day, so hard to tell. But I have these uh, lights on and I want to do a quick video showing you a cool uh, tip or life hack, if you will, on uh, putting up your Christmas lights. This is something most people already know, but I figured I'd make a quick video on it in case you never thought of this. Um, in my particular case, let me back up here. I have the Christmas lights. What's up, Gus? <laughs> Gus is helping me. I have the Christmas lights coming up and around the door, right? It was all the way up around here. And then I wanted to come over and do this window, which I already done. But I didn't want to have just a random string of lights here. You know, from distance, it just kind of looks random. I wanted to frame the door, frame the windows on the house, and I did not want that lit, right? But there's no other way for me to do that to transition from that window to this door on the same string of lights. It just happened to work out where it didn't end there. I still had plenty of lights to go. So, very simply, you take some electrical tape and you wrap each bulb. That's it. So the lights are actually on, but you don't see them, okay? Electrical tape works best. It's the easiest um, thing to do. Little piece across the top and then a little piece wrapped around the side. All right, it completely covers that light, so you don't have to remove any bulbs, and these happen to be LEDs. I'm not sure if I took a bulb out, if the whole string would go out or not. I know with the incandescence, that usually happens. But a uh, quick, simple little tip. Did the same thing over here, because again, transitioning from that window to this window, I didn't want to have just a line of lights. So uh, there you go. Quick little tip for Christmas lights. You can run a, a full string or multiple strings and just black out what you don't want to be seen. So I'm gonna cut right now to another clip of what this looks like at night. All right, so here's the night shot. You can see the window here. But even though all these bulbs here are on, because they're wrapped, you can't see them. So this is just a you know clear circle here for that. And then over here, same deal. We have a string going across connecting because the, you know, the end of the string didn't end there, but I still wanted to use some of those lights. So it continues over and up around the door. However, you don't see that crossover. I'll give you guys one more tip before I go. Something that made my life a lot easier, which I really like now, is using the uh, remote kind of kill switches. I don't know if you could see that here, but it's just a little remote control. It has two buttons on it, on and off. When I want to shut the lights off, all I do is hit the button, and they shut off. Hit the button again, they turn on. You can do this from inside the house. When I'm ready to go to bed at night, I can shut them off very easily. Just hit the button. All right, once it starts getting a little dark out, hit the button again. These have a great range. All this is doing is cutting power to the line. You just uh, put this little box in between, you know, the outlet and whatever's plugged into it. You don't have to use this for Christmas lights. You can use this for lamps in your house. You can use it for fans in the summertime, whatever. Um, so it's pretty versatile. It's like, uh, I think, $15 for a three-pack from Walmart. But um, it just, it's a heck of a lot easier than using timers. I've always used timers for lights, and sometimes it's hard getting the timing uh, right, you know, they sometimes go on when it's a little bit too dark. You want them to go on earlier or it goes on too early in the day. Then I start after those timers, I started using the timers that had the sensors in it, which I really liked for a long time. The problem with the sensors is that, you know, obviously in the wintertime, if snow covers them or debris or anything sticks to uh, where the sensor is, it thinks it's dark, then your lights are on like all the time. And that becomes a problem. So nothing's easier than literally just pushing a button off, on. All right, and you can use this with uh, different channels if you have a, a huge light set or something like that. You can have this at, you know, multiple different locations. But anyway, that's all. Just made my life a little easier, so I thought I'd pass on that tip to you. Pretty cheap, and like I said, you can use them in the summertime too, not just for Christmas lights. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.